See all these tire marks here where you had a hell of a time. Wow. Yeah, you can see right through it. And then there was a uh, the tractor trailer was over there when I first came by. The Dutch yeah, Bros is gone. Yeah, Dutch Bros is gone. Oh gosh. Let's see, look at that man, dude. There's a vehicle there that's smashed. Oh my gosh. Dang. Everybody's pulled over here looking. <laughs> So, I look at the sky all the time, constantly, for years, since I was a kid. It's kind of one of my main secrets, or not really a secret, as a photographer, you know, shooter, filmmaker, um, knowing where the light is what the light is, what the weather is, seeing clouds, planes, helicopters, you know, sometimes it's the noise, sometimes they're making your shot ugly. If uh, you're trying to film something that doesn't look like this shit. This day was kind of weirding me out. Out of nowhere. Just kind of got like this for about four weeks straight. For uh, all of September. I think it was September, yeah. Look at that shadow. <laughs> cool. Yeah, all of September. And then everybody got sick. As soon as the rain and the cold snap. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, you don't need to put that on. Huh? You don't need to put that on. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what? Check this out. Got my stash. Got me 12 more bottles to store up. And I didn't order this, but they sent me a book with it. That freaking excites me. There is clearly all kinds of juice in this book. Let's look at the table of contents. Uh, that's pretty cool. The animal laws. First yardstick of your health, instincts of childhood, potassium, honey, kelp, iodine, castor oil, corn oil. Pretty cool. I do love books about this. I didn't see anything on the site about that coming with a free book. So that was pretty cool. I'm wondering if it has to do with the quantity. I mean, that makes sense. Usually you order more something, you know, that's when you get the free stuff. But if you ever check that site out, you'll see it's super weird. Like, it's a very read between the lines realm with that Lugals. It's like... Uh, 
you know, you'll read a page that has all this great information on it, and then at the end it'll say, this is just a talisman. You know? There's no claims being made about the efficacy of this thing. It's just a talisman. Don't worry about it. The site's kind of jank. It's a little bit like an old HTML site, you know? That's the stuff I look for. I think that that's where the good stuff is. It's like the shitty grainy videos of just some guy talking about his experience or the freaking old weird looking old school style websites. That's where the good stuff is. So anyway, what it got me thinking was maybe, just maybe, It's apparent to them that are sending this stuff out that I'm using more of it than one person can use. And so maybe that makes it obvious that I'm the guy you need to be sending the free books to, or the books, or trying to convince me to buy the books, right? Because if I've learned anything about this stuff in two years of talking about it, explaining it to friends and family and loved ones, they might think it sounds cool, sounds good, makes sense, but they don't. And there hasn't been, no, there's been one, two times, two people out of, I don't know how many, two friends, one friend, one family member, who have tried it just from me talking about it. The rest of them, all the rest of them, uh, don't try it until I hand it to them. So, I'd say that is probably a consistent thing in this realm of thought, of approach. And I'm thinking that uh, it's a common thing for there to be one of us that does the study, does the learning, does the acquisition, uh, and does the uh, encouragement towards uh, this approach to body electricity and endocrinology, right? So, not only am I an electrician, but seem to be displaying the characteristics of a body electrician. That's what I think that stuff means, but whatever.
You like that snake? Isn't she soft and cute? Yeah. What the hell is that noise? Eddie. Oh. That's annoying. That's what he does at night. He what? He, what? That's what he does at night. That's what he does at night? Yeah. Me and the snake are making videos. <laughs> oh, hello there. 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 How can I help you? Hello how can there, I honey. Help you? Isn't that cool? Or how can I help? Come on. How can I help you? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Don't let Onyx eat my snake and don't let my snake eat Onyx, okay? I know you're gonna wanna sh show her. No, I'm not gonna show her to move now. Oh. Very cool. Yeah, I seen it. Oh no. Wait. Oh yeah, the chickens are in there. Yeah, get it. Get it, get it. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of loud happening right here. Well, then bring him away. Come here, Snake. Come Let's here, go to Lockman. Lock my dock. He's drawing too much attention to us. You gotta, gotta stop that. He said he was drawing too much attention to us. Careful, this goes right next to you. Look at that. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my gosh. Ah. So the builders on this uh, new construction basement project forgot to put in a dryer vent. And uh, we electricians we don't do dryer vents, but what we do do is fish bullshit through walls and crap and see through walls uh, and keep from having to rip the drywall and covering off to fix shit in the walls. So this is the most expensive dryer vent ever put in. You're way better off paying grunt workers without skills and licenses to do this shit when it's easy. I love saving the day, but fuck this shit. Gotta check that out. It doesn't look that long, but. Oh. There it is. We did it. That was a long pole. And a lot of getting crap out of the way and using tree saws to cut shit. But we did it! That's magic. Something I've said before, and it bears repeating, is that uh, my book is, in a sense, my attempt to save everything that I think is important from the internet before I can't find it anymore. It's just a, a thought, you know?
What if this is not available at my fingertips one day? I don't get freaked out by the thought. I just, um, I factor it in to my decision-making framework, my skill set that I hone on a daily basis. What if the internet isn't just there for you? What are you going to do? <sighs> In a minute. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh uh, yeah, figured my Tartaria interested homies might enjoy this. This is an old red bricker. Huge beams. A few stories tall in uh, Spokane, Washington. It's basically loaded with furniture from like the 1800s, early 1900s. Somewhere up here, there's a whole floor of like those old little stoves that people I think are like iridium, but they're just coal burners. What do we have, y'all? <laughs> Gotta protect my eyebrows and my beard with this Nomex fire retarded fabric. homemade forging tools. I'm making a bronze sword. <laughs> Look at that. There's like a hard shell of burnt sand on it. Oh, I think I got a good clean tip. I did. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's exciting. Very clean. All right, time to pull this sucker out of here. It's time to see how the finished product looks under this burnt sand. It's not gonna be shiny too shiny. Brass brush. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that big fucker. Still hot. It's been a couple hours since I poured it. That is one heavy fucking sword. That's way too heavy. That's okay. This is the first of many. I will figure out why the ancient swords were less than two pounds. I think this one's close to five pounds. Ugh.